All right, so there are two aspects to remote desktop. Uh, obviously, you need to have a remote desktop to connect to. So the first part would be to set up your computer so that it can be accessed remotely. And then the second part would be connecting to that computer from another device. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your PC so that it can be accessed from another device. And then I'm going to use this same device to access another PC on this network. So first things first, we need to allow this PC to be accessed remotely. What we need to do there is to go ahead and type into the search bar here, allow remote access, and we'll just go ahead and wait for that. So control panel has found the appropriate setting. It's a great thing about Cortana there, it makes it very easy to find, find that. All right, so remote assistance, this is something completely different. Essentially, this would enable a service technician to uh, connect to this computer so that they can help you with that. Um, so you can turn that on or off depending on what you want there. But what we do need to do is to go ahead and say allow remote connections to this computer. And for security purposes, you will probably want to leave this box checked here. So then we'll go ahead and say apply. Now optionally, you could select specific users um, that will have access to this computer um, that may or may not be necessary depending on if you're going to have additional people accessing the computer besides you inside of your organization. Now you also want to make sure that your firewall is set up to allow for these connections. So what you'll want to do there is to go ahead and type in control panel. So we'll go ahead into the control panel here and then we'll go to system and security and then under Windows firewall here we're gonna go ahead and say allow an app through Windows Firewall. So within this area here, we just wanna make sure that remote desktop is uh, checked here. So we can basically, we'll make sure that's checked. Now these are other specific features of remote connections that we can have either checked or unchecked. So we're all set here since remote desktop is checked. Now, if you're on a private network or a network in your home or office, you'll wanna make sure that this box is checked here for security, but if you are, for some reason, using your computer in a, on a public network, then you wanna check this box as well here. Now, if you think you may want to be accessing this PC after it has gone to sleep, so perhaps you are in another room in the office and you've been away for a while and you wanna be able to access this PC anyway, you wanna make sure to configure your PC's sleep settings so that it does not hibernate or go to sleep um, at any point or at least for a few hours so that you'll be able to access it. If the computer does go to sleep, you obviously will not be able to power it up remotely so the remote desktop connection will not work. So you will wanna go into settings or just type for, uh, type into the search bar, sleep, and then you can come in here and change your power and sleep settings so that you can be sure that the PC does not go to sleep so that you can access it. Now when it comes to connecting to this PC from somewhere else, you will sometimes need to have the IP address so that you can type that in to the remote desktop client on that other PC. That'll basically enable you to find this PC from wherever you are. So to find that, we'll go ahead and go, go to control panel once more. And in the search box here, we're just gonna type adapter. And then from here, we're gonna say view network connections. From there, you wanna go ahead and select the active network connection, which is this one here. We'll go ahead and open that up. And then next, we wanna go ahead and select details. So this IP v4 address is the one that we want. So you wanna either copy that, write it down, place it somewhere on your other computer so that you're able to uh, have that handy when you need it. Now, as I'll show you in a moment, this isn't the only way that you can connect to another computer on the same network. You can also just type in the PC's name. So let me go ahead and show that to you now. All right, so every Windows 10 machine is going to have the remote desktop client installed on it already. So what you can do is just type remote desktop and you'll see remote desktop connection there. So as you can see right here, I actually can just type in the name of the PC. Now where do you find that? In Windows 10, you can just go to settings, system, and then about and this will show you the name of the PC. And that's the name that you can type into here. So you'll just go ahead and say connect. 
and then what it may do is try to log you in using the credentials uh, on your current PC. What you may need to do is say use another account and then type in the username and the password for that PC. So this is my username and then I just type in my password here. I can check this box to say remember my credentials so that I don't have to remember them on this PC if I want to. That may or may not be a good idea depending on the security uh, where you're accessing this computer. So from there, you'll just go ahead and say OK. It'll say yes to this. And there it is connecting me to that PC. Uh, now basically I just have access to this entire PC remotely from wherever I am. And um, this would be a good way for you to get some more serious work done on a less powerful laptop or tablet or something like that. So you can have a powerful PC at a desktop and then you can work from anywhere else in the office, maybe where it's more comfortable. So this is a, a very powerful feature that's built right into Windows 10 without you needing any sort of software uh, other than what comes installed on the system.